we got this sign and we're gonna open it today and make some unicorn slime. Yeah, the other day when we went to the craft store, we bought a whole lot of projects because there's not a lot to do right now. Mm -hmm. So we got the unicorn slimy glue. Emma picked this out. And so we're gonna make some unicorn slime. Are you ready to get started? Yeah! All right. I got my butterfly um, purse because today we did a butterfly video. Um, if you didn't see that yet, look up in the link up here. I don't know how to add a link. Oh. Well, we'll try, but there okay. may not be a link. You might just have to look at her other videos to see. <laughs> yeah, and, but on YouTube, there's like a list of other videos on their channel, whichever channel you go to, so look down here. That's right. So let's get started on the unicorn slimy loop. See if we can open this guy up. Um, it looks like the tape kind of is here. I have some cute scissors, but they're squiggly. Yeah, they look like some fun, fun shape. But yeah, but but I'm okay with having stuff squiggly cut out. Like I still cut out stuff with them. I don't just make squiggly, squiggly paper. We might do a video with squiggly paper. You never ne know what what our subscribers are gonna dream of. <laughs> um, so when we opened the box, all of the supplies were bundled up in in this little bag. So we'll open this up and see what's in here. You wanna open it up, Em? Yes. Yeah. Stuff. Why don't you show them as you take it out? So here's a bag of the sodium tetra borate, which is um, one of the things that you have to have to make the slime. And we've got a spoon to stir. Yeah. It came with a little clear plastic spoon. They've got coloring, pink and purple. We've got instructions. We don't know what to do. <laughs> We've got glue. We've got these stones. They're on the package. And we've got a teeny tiny measuring cup. And we've got a stirring stick. Alright, well let's see how we can make all of these things turn into unicorn slime. Except for that. Except for this stuff. This stuff does not need to turn into slime, you guys. You don't need a measuring cup slime. You don't need a spoon slime. And we don't need a sturdy stick slime. No, we'll use those things to make our slime. So, first things first. We read the instructions, right? Yes. So what does it say? It says, follow these four rules. One, do not eat slimy goop brand slime or any of the ingredients. Can you handle that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two, be careful not to splash any solution into your eyes. Can you handle that? Three, wash hands thoroughly with warm water and soap after each use. I think you can handle that because it's going to be sticky, so you'll want to wash them, won't you? Mm-hmm. And four, be sure to cover your working area as making slimy goop can get a bit messy. Well, we'll be okay. We, I, I think that we can just use some paper towels this time or like a... Uh, She's gone, so I'm gonna be here to entertain you. So we will take we will take a dish towel and we will cover mm -hmm. right, and then we'll lay out all of our supplies on it. Mm -hmm. Two, So we've got everything laid out on our covered work area. So mm -hmm. now we can read the first direction. 
Fill a disposable cup with 25 ml of warm water. This measuring cup goes up to 30 ml, so it's got little markings on it. So, let me go get some warm water for us and we'll get started with that. So Maybe says, I've been pretending to make this one. Maybe. So it says to fill the cup. Fill, the, fill this. We're going to use this as our mixing cup. So it says to fill it with 25 ml of warm water. And this is 25 ml at this line that I'm making right here. So can you pour enough warm water? See, I made a little line at the 25 mark. Pour enough warm water into this to make 25 ml. Okay. All right. Perfect. Look guys, she did such a good job. She got it right here on that line. I'm kind of pulling it, bunny. She did a great job. So you're going to want to put that into here. Can you pour it in? Um, yes. Good job. Now it says measure and pour 16 mLs of white glue into the second cup of warm water. So here's our glue. And this has 40 mLs in it. So that's going to be, do you think 40 mLs is going to be too much or not enough? Not enough. So we need 16. Is 40 too many or not enough? Not enough. Well actually it's way too many because we only need 16 and this has 40. Yeah, so, I know, smack. But you know what else is a problem? What? This measuring cup only goes up to 30 ml. So how are we going to measure 40? What should we do? We should go in the kitchen and get a bigger measuring cup. Well, that's an option, but if we only wanted to use this measuring cup, what could we do? What? We could go, go turn the camera off for a little bit, get some more glass, and make it bigger! That's a good idea as well. So, if you have 30, mm -hmm. what number could we add 32 to make 40? Do you guys know? Well, if we add 30 plus 4, we get 34. 
What's 40 minus 30? There you go. So what if we fill this up to 30 uh -huh. and pour it in uh -huh. and then fill it up to 10 and pour it in? There we go. So we're going to fill up our cup. Can you pour the glue in? Is it sealed? <laughs> Whoops. Did I forget to open it? Yep, you have been pouring all day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, you have to open the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, we don't need 40. Mommy was messed up. We just need 16. <laughs> <laughs> this is 40. I didn't make any sense, so we're just going to edit all that out. No, don't. Please don't. Alright, so 16 mLs is that little black line I made there. Do you see it right here? So fill it up to the 16 mL line. Whoop, they go, they go. Whoop. Perfect. Alright, now we are going to pour it into the water. sure it all gets in there. <coughs> it's like silly string. Just stir with the mixing stick until the glue is thoroughly mixed. So we could even use this and like scrape it. Okay, there. there we go. Stir, stir, stir. Mm -hmm. Is this what would happen? And if you mix the silly strings, since it looks like silly strings, well, no, oh, I didn't read the directions closely. I completely skipped over a whole set of steps. So the first thing before we mixed up the glue, we were supposed to mix up the sodium tetraborate. So what if we? So here's what we should do. We What's should that? go ahead and put that in and mix it in and see if it still works. Yes, I think we can still do it. We're just doing the steps in a little bit different order. So we were supposed to measure out 25 ml of water and a scoop, a spoonful of the spoon provided of the sodium tetraborate. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And pour it in the spoon. Yeah, and then I can pour it onto the spoon. There we go. And now we'll pour the spoon into the water and mix it up. We have our sodium tetraborate all mixed up. Now, Going back to the glue mixture. We've got our glue mixed up, and now it says add one to two drops of pink dye and stir mixture until evenly mixed. The more drops you put, the darker the color will be. So we're going to open up our pink dye. We're going to stir some in. How many drops do you want to do? There you go. That's probably plenty. <laughs> and now we'll stir it up. It looks like blue. Is that the color pink you want it to be? Do you want to add more color? Is it too dark? Is it just right? What do you want to do to it? Well, it's not time for that yet. So, and now it says mix half the gems into the glue mixture. I want to stir more. Okay. Now it's like pink milk. 
It looks like pink milk now. It kind of does look like pink milk. All right, now pick out the gems that you'd like to put in there. And now, this is our chemical reaction that's going to make it the glue mixture and the sodium mixture, the sodium tetraborate mixture, into our slime. So it says, slowly mix, you slowly mix this into this. So pour a little bit, but not all of it. And then mix it up. Is that the right texture that you want it, or do you want it to be more slimy? Mm, it's perfect. I it's like perfect. this. It's like Play-Doh, but slime. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to make the purple. I'm going to get only one more little thing. I can play with my slime. I can't make bubbles. Life is getty. It's like the spaghetti slime. I like the spaghetti slime. Don't eat it though. It feels like the spaghetti. Like, touch the spaghetti. Where are the gems? The gems disappeared. That's okay, we'll just put them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more. See, 17, 18 gems. Now let's just mix it all in there. Good playing with it, mixing the gems. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing, basically. We're gonna take Actually, we're going to use a stick. We're going to measure 25 ml of the water. And pour in there. Just a little extra. And then we're going to do the 16 ml of the glue. I think that's going to be all of our supplies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I used all the gems. That's okay. This one just won't have gems. So, to keep our slime from drying out, we'll put it in our tiny little snack-sized zipper bags. more gooey than the other kind, isn't it? It's gloopy, kind of. Like, it's like more like really slimy. Look. Hey! <laughs> We're going to get slime all over me. That's the point of slime. No, it's not. The point is to enjoy it. Yeah. 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 
That's as good as we're gonna get in the bag. We're gonna close it up. Which one was your favorite size? The spaghetti slime or the gloopy slime? <laughs> the spaghetti slime or the gloopy slime? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's all for today. Bye!